Hello, Nathan. A very good evening to you all. Path to Success International Matara is a unique educational institute which provides the best of the best to develop the soft skills of young learners to empower them to win challenges in their future. Today, we are about to begin another significant event of Path to Success Matara. The presentation contest 2021 of level three students. I take this opportunity and I'm honored to introduce the chief judge of this competition. He is from Ireland and he has a career in both military and training for over 36 years. Working with both multinational, multinational and multicultural groups, he has developed a method, methodology that is based on acceptance and respect where people from across different sectors, nationalities, and backgrounds come to meet with a common bond to grow and develop together. He is well qualified. He mastered in security and risk management. He possesses a BA in leadership and management also another BA in Applied Social Studies in Counseling. Dear parents, students, and my dear guests, put your hands together and let us warmly welcome Chief Judge of the event, Mr. Eamon Dolan, on screen. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Can everyone please Say hello to Mr. Eamon. Hello, Eamon. Hello. 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 All right. Now everything is done. A competition. I will quickly state the con contest rules. The contestants should be should present their presentation or a demonstration of five to ten minutes under any of the following categories: a demonstration about a new invention, a presentation about a specific chosen topic using props, visual aids, posters, or 3D models, or a demonstration about a food or Beverage preparation. Second rule is all the contestants should, should belong to the age category of 9 to 10 years. If a contestant had to encounter a problem related to the internet connection, he or she would be given another opportunity to present after all the other contestants presented their demonstrations. Since this is an online competition, the video of the performing contestant should be on while the performance. While one, while one contestant is performing, other contestants are, are advised to maintain the good etiquette of online meetings. You have to keep your video and audio off while others perform. Please avoid using the chat box or using emojis to communicate with your friends. I like to remind you that this is a friendly competition. This is to enable our students to get the exposure of online competitions and build their confidence to take part in other competitions. I hope every student will do their best. Without the further ado, let's start this competition. There are 20 contestants. All contestants are renamed according to the order of presenting. The first contestant is Inuki Ewingi. Can you please turn on your video and your microphone? You can present now, Inuki. Good evening, everybody, respected judges, parents, and my dear friends. Today, I'm going to show my new creation. This new creation is the hot drink cooler. This is very useful for kids. While they are going to drink a hot drink, they're always trying to cool the drink down. This will be very dangerous and they will be hurt themselves. So 
that's why this new creation was made when we switch on here you can see a fan is working we put our hot drink in here this fan will cool the drink in 2 minutes this will be uh, useful and safety for kids so i use few materials to make this creation i use a fan from a broken computer a battery light switch from a broken toy and an empty biscuit tin also it did not cost much all all the things i used are car card things but this invention is values a lot thank you for being with me thank you very much very good presentation thank you let's remain one minute of silence for the judge to mark the marks thank you second contestant one jagod can you please turn on your video and your microphone you may proceed now one Welcome, dear listeners, my dear friends. Today I am going to talk about my solar system. This is my solar system. I made it by myself. Have you ever looked what is happening to the sky and what is there? Okay. Now I am going to explain it. The solar system falls. Everything is all contained around the sun. The sun. The sun is a star. It is the big object in the solar system. This one, Mercury. Mercury is the second hottest planet in the solar system. Venus. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. Earth. That's the planet we all live. And Mars. Mars is the red planet in the solar system. Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Saturn. Saturn is very famous for their outer rings. Uranus. Uranus is the coldest planet in the solar system. Neptune. Neptune is the furthest planet to the sun. Now I'm going to sing a song. <laughs>
I'm the only planet with organic life to take care because we all want. My name is Mars. I'm in red in color. I'm the fourth planet from the sun. I have the highest mountain in our solar system and a volcano in first month. There are eight planets in the solar system. We live all around the sun. Join us along about the different planets. Now sing alone and have some fun. My name is Jupiter. I am covered in clouds. I'm the fifth planet from the sun. My giant red spot is a red deep star. As I am first, I'm the biggest one. My name is Adam. I'm in round in color. I'm the sixth planet from the sun. My outer rings are made cleverly. They're made of dust and icy tongue. My name is Uranus. I'm in blue in color. I'm the seventh planet from the sun. Human sun named me the icy planet because I am the coolest one. My name is Neptune. I'm in blue in color. I'm the eighth planet from the sun. I have too many stones in my atmosphere and the further planet from the sun. There are eight planets in the solar system. We live all around the sun. Join us along about the different planets. Now sing along and have some fun. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Let's remain one minute of silence for the judge to mark the mark sheet. Okay, thank you, Nathan. The third contestant is Bihandu Samara Singh. Can you please turn on your video and your microphone? Good evening, respected judges, teacher, and my dear friends. Today I am going to introduce you my new homeopathic homemade water filter. Most of the water on earth is unusable due to dirtiness. It causes water wasting and lot of health problems. So I designed a Water filter project. Now I I to make this project. I use a simple household material. Now I am going to tell you how I made this project. First, I cut the bottle half of the bottle. Then I put some holes around the bottle lid. Then I put some pebbles. Uh, in the then I put some cotton, you can see it. Then I put washable face masks 
uh, I wash when with soap. Then I put some jabber. Then another washable face mask. Then some then then another washable face mask. Then some pebbles. Now I will show you how I make this. How this project works. Uh, first, you are to you need some dirty water now, and I'm going to put the water to I'm going to pour the water into this uh, bottle. Then uh, I'm going to need. You need something to collect that water. And then I will show you how uh, it will be after it uh, comes from here. The, uh, what is it? You could see the dirty water becomes steam faster uh, and uh, I have to uh, be more to improve. Uh, I hope to um, improve more further. Uh, and any body can make this project. It's very easy. You only need household steel materials. Uh, in even a child who made this uh, project with a help of a parent. Uh, and Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Let's remain one minute for the judge to mark the mark sheet. Very good. Thank you, Bihan. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Respected judges, parents, and my dear friends, today I am going to introduce you my new invention. This is my new invention. This is a model of a vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner is a very useful equipment in our day-to-day -day life at present. Using the vacuum cleaner, we can clean many surfaces that cannot be washed. This is a very simple equipment. I used only a two-liter plastic bottle, an electric motor, batteries wires and a switch to make this. Now I will show you how this works. Now see the rigid foam balls get sucked into the bottle easily. Now I will tell how this works. When we supply electricity to the motor from the batteries, the motor rotates. When the motor rotates, the bottle get vacuumed. When the bottle get vacuumed, air outside the bottle get inside the bottle. With the bottle, with the air, the switch foam balls also get sucked into the bottle. This method is also used in the vacuum we use in our day-to-day -day life to vacuum dust. 
I think my new invention will be a will be very useful for your life. So my friends, thank you for being with me. We'll move to the sixth contestant. Sixth contestant is uh, Sandaru Manuchaya. Sixth contestant, Sanucha Manuchaya. Wait a bit. Wait a bit, Sandaru. Right. Okay. Wait, wait till the judge are right. Confirm. Right. Mr. Eamon, shall we proceed? Yes, yes, proceed, please. Sandra, you can start. Respected judges, present, and my dear friend, I will tell now I made the cut down the flat building block as the shape of guitar. My credit is a guitar, materials that I need for make it work, a flat building block, pieces of my lower sets, eight index knee. A uh, empty cementing methods cut down the flat wooden block at the shape of guitar. Set the index needle into the guitar. Tie the pieces of nylon set from needle to another rail. Keep the empty cementing under the thread like that I made it guitar to as tall. I play with the guitar and my family and enjoy with them. And sing the song. All McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on his farm, he had some cows. E I E I O. There's a moon moon here and the moon moon there. Here moon there, moon anywhere. All McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Thank you for being with me. Thank you very much. Very good. Let's remain one minute of silence for the judge to mark the mark sheet. Thank you. Seventh contestant, Desandi Anujana. Can you please turn on your video and your microphone? Good evening, respected judges, parents, and my dear friends. Today I'm going to explain how to prepare a delicious fruit salad. First, I bought fresh fruits. They are banana, mango, papaya, pineapple, Grapes and apples. Also, I took a small quantity of sugar, lime, salt, and vanilla. Now I start to prepare the salad. Early I washed and cleaned the fruits and cut it small pieces. Like this. Now 
I take a ball and put all the fruits into it like this? Now I mix it. Now I add Sugar. Lime juice. Sugar. And vanilla. I mix it very well. Time to taste it. Mm, it's very tasty. <laughs> Grandmother, it's your turn. Here you are. It is very tasty, my dear. Very delicious fruit salad. Thank you, my dear. Thank you for being with us. Thank you very much. Let's remain one minute of silence for the judge to mark the mark sheet. Contestant number eight, 
Listen to obey Vikram. Can you please turn on your video and your microphone? Good. Good evening, sir. TK and my friend. Today I am going to present about volcanoes. Volcanoes are opening on the surface. Lava, ash, and ga gases get released to volcano. The lava is a liquid magma present inside the earth crust. Volcanoes are classified into three types. They are active dom domain and extinct volcanoes. Active volcanoes erupt, erupt at any time. Dormant volcanoes have been known to erupt but have not erupt recent, recently. Extinct volcanoes are unlikely to erupt again. Volcanoes can be dangerous. Thank you. Let's remain a minute of silence for the judge to mark the mark sheet. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> nice lava. Yes, please. Thank you. Good evening, respected judges, parents, and my dear friends. Today I'm going to do a presentation about water wheel. A water wheel is a type of device that takes advantage of flowing or falling water to generate power by using a set of paddles mounted around the wheel. The water wheel is simple turbine. It is a device with buckets, paddles, or legs that are protected by moving water. It is converting the kinetic energy of water into mechanical movement. The axle of the wheel is connected to a dynamo. That turns kinetic energy into electricity can use. There are three types of water wheels. They are horizontal water wheel. Undershot vertical water wheel, overshot vertical water wheel. This is my treatment 3D water wheel. Let me show how it works. The axle of the wheel is connected to a dynamo that turns kinetic energy into electricity canvas. I hope my presentation might have widened your knowledge. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let's remain one minute of silence for the judge to mark the mark sheet.
Then contestant, hit me Halang Singhan. Can you please turn on your video and your microphone? Good evening, respected judges, parents, and my dear friends. Today, I'm going to show you a wonderful creation. Would you like to see? Okay, here, wonderful creation. Do you know what is this? Yes, this is butterfly life cycle. Let's explore a butterfly life cycle detail, including all four stage life as eggs, caterpillar, cocoon and butterfly all butter all butterfly start some eggs some tiny eggs is smaller than us millimeter and almost all are yellow or green some egg hatch in a few days while other take a month let's go next stage Once the egg hatches, the baby caterpillar will eat everything it sees. When it's full, it will make a cocoon to live. This period at least one week. Next stage, the cocoon just like the egg. The cocoon, the cocoon is Provide the caterpillar with food and shelter. Will it change a uh, change into something new? Wow! Wonderful butterfly is born. The butterfly will spend a few months during its wings. The butterfly set up to set up to find a nice place to lay its own eggs, and cycle will begin again. Now, I'm going to show picture of fell endemic butterfly in our country. This is Nilgala butterfly. You can see this butterfly 20 rupee knot. This is Sarakolea butterfly. You can see this butterfly 100 rupee knot. This is Colonella paramea butterfly. You can see this butterfly 500 rupee knot. This is Densaria butterfly. You can see this butterfly 5000 rupee knot. See, this is national butterfly in our country. Its name is Bird Wings. Okay. I hope my demonstration would help you to learn many facts about the life cycle of a butterfly. Thank, thank you for beginning with me. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let's remain one minute of silence for the judge to mark the mark sheet. Hey, Mr. Chair. Eleventh contestant, Sanakit Mini Punraba. Can you please turn on your video and your microphone? Good evening, respectable judges, dear teacher, parents, and my dear friends. Today I am going to tell about traffic light. Rules are made for safety of people. We must follow traffic signals. Now, let's see what are the uses of traffic light. It has three colors. They are red, yellow, and green. Red color says stop. 
right away so the pedestrian can cross the road yellow color say ready to go so the drivers can wait till turn on the green light green light say go so the drivers can start their travel this is my traffic light my uncle helped me to make it first i cut the cardboard and made rectangular shape box then i cut three holes on a side next i fix red yellow and green color bulbs in three holes and on kore na ma others please mute your mics is that hesandu is in the please mute your mic sorry for the disturb sorry for the disturbances and the kit mini others please maintain discipline mute your mics it's sand sandakit mini right sorry for the disturbances and the kit mini you can start from the beginning i beg your pardon you can start from the beginning right respectable judges dear teacher parents and my dear friends today i am going to tell about traffic light rules are made for safety of people we must follow traffic signals now let's see what are the uses of traffic light it has three colors they are red yellow and green red color say stop right away so the pedestrian can cross the road yellow color say ready to go so the drivers can wait till turn on the green light green light say go so the drivers can start their travel this is my traffic light my uncle is ready press i cut the cardboard and make rectangular shape box then i cut three holes on a side next i fix red yellow and green color bulbs in three holes and fix wire to the bulbs finally i fix other end of the wire to the circuit so this is how i made traffic light at last i request you please be obey the traffic rule it's for your safety thank you stay safe bye thank you Let's remain one minute of silence for the judge to mark the mark sheet. Okay, thank you. Twelfth contestant, yet me, Michael. Can you please turn on your video and your microphone? Good evening, respected judges and my and parents and my friends. Today I am going to make a fashion fruit juice. We need fashion fruit, salt, sugar, lemon, and a glass, a spoon, and a jug. Cut each fashion fruit in half, taking care not to spill the juices out. With the spoon, scoop the fresher fruit flesh and the seeds into the jug. Add salt, sugar, lemon, and water to taste. Add 
and mix it well. Pour it into the glass. And enjoy your drink. Thank you for being with me. Thank you. Let's remain one minute of silence for the judge to mark the mark sheet. Hey, Chair. Thirteenth contestant, Kitwi Galhen. Can you please turn on your video and your microphone? Respected judge, teacher, and my dear friend, today I am going to speak about the solar system and the eight planets. The solar system means the sun and all the objects that orbit around it. The solar system is 4.6 billion years old. There are eight planets in the solar system. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The first four planets are mostly made of rock and metal and they are mostly solid. The last four planets are called gas giants. This is because they are much more larger than other planets and they are mostly made of gas. First, I'm going to talk about the sun. The sun is the star at the center of the solar system. It is by far the most important source of energy for life on Earth. It is 109 times the size of Earth. The sun is located 150 million kilometers far from Earth. All the eight planets in the solar system orbit around the sun in an elliptical orbit. Next, I'm going to talk about Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system and the closest to the sun. Mercury is the hottest planet in the solar system. It has no air. It takes 88 days to orbit its axis and 88 days to orbit around the sun. Another feature of Mercury is that it moves faster than other planets. Shortly before sunrise, we can see Mercury from the east and from the west after sunset. So my dear friends, now you know about the sun and the Mercury. Next, I am going to talk about the Venus. The Venus is the closest planet to Earth. We can see Venus shining in the morning sky before sunrise and in the evening sky after sunset. Venus takes 243 days to orbit its axis and 225 days to orbit around the sun. The main gas in Venus atmosphere is carbon dioxide. Venus orbits the other planet in the opposite direction. Now let's explore some facts about the Earth. The Earth is the third planet in the solar system. It is currently the only living planet in the solar system. The Earth takes 24 hours to orbit its axis and 365 days to orbit around the sun. The Earth has one subplanet and it is the moon. There are mountains, forests, oceans, and deserts on Earth. Oxygen and nitrogen
hydrogen are the major gas of the earth atmosphere. Now let's move into Uranus. Now let's move into Mars. Mars is half the size of Earth. It is known as the red planet because it appears red. Scientists believe there is life on Mars. Mars takes 24 hours to orbit its axis and 687 days to orbit around the sun. Mars has two moons and it has the largest crater in the solar system. Now let's talk about the largest planet in the solar system. That is Jupiter. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. It takes 10 hours to orbit its axis and 12 years to orbit around the sun. Jupiter has 16 moons and it has 3 thin dark rings. Now let's talk about Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet in the solar system. It has 18 moons. Saturn has three bright rings around it. Now let's move into Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet in the solar system. The third largest planet, Uranus, also has about five small rings. They all are made of ice and small pebbles. Research has not yet begun to find information about the planet Uranus because it is mostly made of gas. Now let's talk about the last planet in the solar system. That is Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet in the solar system and the fourth largest planet. Neptune has eight subplanets. The largest moon is named as Titan. Neptune is not visible to the unaided eye. So my dear friends, I hope you learn many important facts about the solar system and the eight planets from my presentation. Thank you for being with me. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Let's remain one minute of silence for the judge to mark the mark sheet. Shall we proceed? Please. 14th contestant, Toshumini Sinetma. Respected judges, dear parents, and my dear friends, do you know what am I going to present for today's contest? It's a simple homemade microscope. We just need few easily found materials to make this. Though this appears as a simple microscope, we can observe many microorganisms which are not visible to our naked eye from this. There is no difference between a microscope we find in a school laboratory and this. To make this, we need 10 by 15 centimeters size transparent plastic piece. 
a wood piece of the same size. Another small transparent plastic piece of 10 by 4 cm size. A lens which you can find easily in a discarded CD rod. A board nuts of 10 cm long and nuts and a light source as a small torch. The four nuts should be fastened to the four corners of the wooden piece and the plastic. Four, four holes in the four corners of the big plastic piece should drill and fasten it to the base at the top like this. The small plastic piece should also be drilled from either side and fastened to two bolt nuts like this. Then the CD lens should be fastened to a hole drilled at the big plastic piece like this. Now a simple microscope is made. Now let's observe a pond water to a little glass piece like this. And again it should be covered by another small glass piece like this. Then we have to place it just under the under the lens lens like this and we have to place a light source just under the glass piece like this as you can see after that we can take our mobile phone and on the video camera and keep the lens of the camera on the lens on the cd lens and zoom the screen of the camera unbelievable you can see so many teeny weeny microbes which we can't see in our naked eye are running here and there in this drop of water they eat, they drink, and they do all the activities they need for their existence. Here are some microbes that I had observed. Dear friends, you too can make this simple microscope easily and observe many things in our environment that we can't see and be a little scientist. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Let's remain one minute of silence for the judge to mark the mark sheet. Good evening, everybody. Respected judge, teacher. Let me wait a bit. Let me wait a bit. Let me wait a bit. Right, let me relax. Now you can start with the right. Relax. You can start now. Good morning. Good evening, everybody. Respected judge, teacher. And my dear friends, today I will show you how to make wind direction indicator to track the direction of the wind. Materials needed. 
empty pen tube, small bottle, straw, pin, pieces of hard cardboard, two pieces of cardboard. Hello. Hello. Hot extra length. Take two equal pieces of cardboard. Draw the required shapes for the arrow. Cut the required shapes for the arrow. Apply two cuts to ends of the straw. Fold the shapes into the ends of the straw. Place the pin in the center of the straw. Attach the pen to the bottle. Draw the directions mark to a piece of pieces of cardboard. Name the directions. Mark. Attach the bottle to the to the pointed cardboard. To observe the direction of the bin, place this bin direction indicated at high bin point. The arrow in the direction of the wind. A wind direction indicated is a device used to measure the direction of the wind. Thank you for being with me. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Let's remain one minute of silence for the judge to mark the mark sheet. Sixteen contestant, Sandhasi Dahanayaka. Can you please turn on your video and your microphone? Hello everybody, respected judges, parents, guests and my dear friends. Today I am going to do a presentation about Gem for Jew Sri Lanka. My dear friends, all of us know the beauty of our country. It is a small island in the Indian Ocean. Lot of foreigners visit our motherland because of variation of climates and physical differences. Let me show you the geographical zones in our country. We can see three main geographical zones. They are Ra, Central Highland, Intermedia Plain, Coastal Plain. Over 300 meters high land belongs to Central Highland. Here we can see few features. Mountains, knuckles, Namunukula, Pedro Talavale, and Plados, Hatton, Valley Mada, Koslande, Gaps, Haputale, Balane, Galagadere, Ward Forest, Bambarande, Dieluma, Dunghinde. We can see beautiful surrounding in here. Tea plantation, vegetables, flowers, cultivation methods like step by step. Second zone is intermediate plain. Height is 30 meter to 300 meter. We can't see highest mountain. Here also we can see different geographical areas. Balanced mountains, sea gidea, ritigala, mintalaya, and rivers, Mahavali, Kaleni, Kaluvalave, overflow plain, it means 
after flooding we can see beautiful we can see beautiful surrounding in here the tanks built by our ancient kings in here minneria kala urulu third zone is coastal area height is 0 meter to 30 meter our district also belong to coastal area here also we can see various features wetlands mutura jewela bundale and bays are gone belikama point devinura petro and lagoon ningambo putnelam uh, island kites mana and delta mahavali these are the main geographical differences in our country i hope my presentation added many facts about geophysics of sri lanka to your knowledge sandesh can much. we have a close look of the prop your model uh not so close not so close i mean uh oh mr aman could you get a yes yes i can see i can i could all right lovely diorama all right we can proceed nathan very good thank you sir next 17th contestant dulara chatumi can you please turn on your video and your microphone respected judges parents and my dear friends today i am going to show you my water dispenser to make the water dispenser we need piece of cardboard a plastic bottle a plastic pipe some glue so so i am going to show you how to use it first we have to take a glass place it right right over here then we open we open then we can open the lid of the bottle we we can see that the water is cut out of the pipe then then we can close the cap of the bottle no water is coming out of the pipe so the basic science behind this is that when we when we open a lid of a bottle the air enter into the bottle and gives pressure to the water it helps the water flow out the pipe when but when we close close the lid of the bottle the water no no into 
Noya into the bottle and it doesn't give any pressure to the water out of the pipe. You too can make, make this simple water dispenser. Thanks for being with me. You. Okay. 18th contestant, Rehaini Sahasna. Respected judges, Aaron, guests, my dear teacher and my dear friend. Today I'm going to talk about the simple machine. The devices which are simple in structure used in our daily life to make our work easier and faster are called simple machines. Simple machines help us to multiply the effort, change the direction of force, increase the speed of doing work. On the basis of structure and function, simple machines are divided into six groups. They are liver, Pulley, wheel and axle, incline plane, screw, wedge. First, I'm going to talk about the liver. Liver is a rigid bar which moves freely about the fit about called fulcrum. Liver has three parts. Foot, load, fulcrum. Effort is the point where force is applied. Fulcrum is the fixed force, support. Load is the point where you want the force applied to act. Few examples of lever are wheelbarrow, seesaw, scissor, hammer. Next, next, I'm going to speak about pulley. Pulley is a simple machine having a broad circular disc over which a rope passes. Pulley used to pull water from the well and left heavy loads in factories. Next, I'm going to talk about the wheel and axle. Wheel and axle is a simple machine having two cylinders of different radius. For example, vehicle travel fast because of its wheels. Wheels help to travel and carry load. Final is incline plan. A ramp of any form is called an incline plan. It makes an object easier to move up or down. Ex 
example for inclined plane is slide. Thanks for being with me. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let's remain one minute of silence for the dots to mark the mark sheet. Okay. 19th contestant, Netoka Rion. Can you please on your video and your microphone? Good evening to all of you. Today I show you how to make electricity out of wind. First you need, first you need turbine, motor, Wires, square shape form, wood ball, cylinder, circle. First, you paste the circle, top of cylinder, and input the turbine to motor and paste top of circle. And set two wires to motor and Paste the square shape from center of cylinder and input the LED bulb to it and set the wires to LED bulb and give to wind turbine and turbine make electricity and turbine give to LED bulb and LED bulb is low. Thank you for being with me. Netuka, uh, can you please uh, show your uh, the invention that you made? We couldn't see the top of it, Netuka. Okay, teacher. Right. Can we have another look of it? All right, that's it. Thank you so much, Netuka. Okay, teacher. Thank you very much. All right. Can you do the presentation again? Yes, teacher. Right, okay. Good evening, respectable judges and my dear friends. Today I came here to talk about respiration system. Respiration is automatically involuntary process. Respiration is divided in two types. First one is inspiration, second one is expiration. Se respiration system include nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchus, bronchioles, and alveoli. Then I like to show my model of respiration system. This is bronchus, this is left, run, le left lung, this is right lung, this is called the front. First time, Pull down the diaphragm. Uh, the balloon was explained. The lungs explained. Then I release it. Lungs become small. Then I like to show respiration system of pieces. This is bronchus. This is bronchus. This is bronchiol. This is alveol. This is pleural cavity. This is left lung. This is right lung. 
most important organs are in our SPAG system. Lungs in our SPAG system. Lungs are covered with pleural cavity and it can protect lungs. We have two lungs called right lung and left lung. The left lung is smaller than right lung. I, we can't live without lung functioning. So my dear friends, we always try to protect our lungs virus and infection. These days, we always know about COVID-19 virus. It, it is very dangerous virus. I think it's invisible enemy. This virus can harmful lungs seriously. Therefore, my dear friends, always wear your mask, use hand sanitizer, and wash your hands properly and avoid unnecessary traveling. I think my presentation improved your knowledge. Thank you for being with me. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Shall we proceed? Yes, yes. Sorry, you have to invite uh, uh, contestant number five, Bethuli. Uh, wait, I'll, uh, I'm trying to find her. Bethuli, yes. uh, she is contestant number five. She is taking the second attempt now. Contestant number five, Bethuli Dihansa. You can start your presentation now. Welcome, judges. Welcome, judges, teacher, and my dear friend. Today, I am going to present about my new invention. This is my new invention. I think it's frozen again, Panty. This is very useful for us. I made this machine, especially for small children like us. I need to water, to design my trees. Just wires to make this with using one motor. I will rotate the bed and another I use rotate the I think the broadband width is just too low for her to broadcast. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, I think she uh she's back again. Betuli. Right, Vetuli, uh, you are back again. Uh, yes, please. So I hope that you can hear us. Can you hear us, Vetuli? Can you hear me? We yes. can't hear you, Vetuli. Yes. We are very sorry. <laughs> right, now uh, can you start to do the presentation again? Yes, teacher. Right. Okay, come on, proceed. Start. Okay, teacher.
welcome judges teacher and my dear friend today i the cloth and trench this is very i made is not the and board is small with using one motor i will rot one motor is inside the book and other is here then board nine back connecting wire box i use one battery is one motor then you add nala see see and other after i i use two switches for turn on right is right is left turn on fan and turn off the fan then then and for remove the pieces when cutting cloth find sheet of paper to get finished up now i will how this work shape of a Nathan, we can proceed. I think. Best performance. The competition comes to an end. Let's listen to a beautiful song till the judge can finalize the results and pick the winners. I'm sorry to interrupt. I I just forgot it. Our friend, uh, our student, Onet. 
uh, he is willing to entertain us on it. Are you there? Right. Okay. So you can play some music for us. Can you? Okay, teacher. Right. Okay. Give a big round of applause to our uh, friend, Onet Vanal Chagada. You can start on it. Wait a minute, teacher.
Thank you so much, Onet. Thank you so much You're for welcome. entertaining us. Over to you, Nathan. Over to you, Nathan. Now I invite our judge to announce the winners. The results will be announcing from the third place winner to the first place winner. And also, we expect a word, word of encouragement from our lovely judge. Okay, children. Um, Priyanti, Mr. Chair, and uh, Nathan, thank you very, very much for inviting me this evening uh, to be the, the judge of this fantastic competition. Okay, guys, children, literally, I am blown away by all of the fantastic presentations that have been given, how they've been described. Um, I've learned a lot about, I've learned a lot about a lot of things I, I didn't know, okay? Um, I loved the presentation on butterflies and those who know me close know that butterflies are probably one of my favorite things in life, okay? Um, so um, just to go into the actual results, and what I would say to you is, um, I want to give special mention to the children who particularly delivered their presentations in difficult circumstances. Because sometimes when you're getting disturbances, um, it can knock you out of your concentration. And these are the times when we can be particularly challenged. Because what do we do in these situations? Do we just stop? Or do we try to persevere and try to drive on and try to remain concentrated? So um, for Contessa number five, uh, Wetley, you know, it was a fantastic effort to be able to, to try and work through these, um, we'll call it technical issues that interrupt us when we're trying to do our best and trying to represent our best. And it can be particularly disappointing for ourselves when we feel that maybe we haven't properly been heard or but for other factors, um, we weren't able to we weren't able to show our best our, our best approach. But what I would say to you is in life, it's these are the times when we're challenged and when things are difficult that we really should be looking forward to to be able to demonstrate. Uh, one of the strongest gifts anybody can have, and that's resilience. The ability to be able to stay focused and focus on what you're doing. So to contestant uh, number five, I want to give a big thumbs up on, on that. Okay, so going into the marking of the competition, and I won't go through, I, I, I won't go through the full placings all the way through, but what I will start, what I will do is I have a score sheet and I've broken it down under the relevant criteria that your uh, the, your your Madam Teacher has after given us for, for the marking protocol. So in I have actually um three people who are joint fourth. Okay. So I'm just gonna call the three people who are joint fourth. Um, and they scored 82.5 out of 100, okay, which is a very, very good score. So the three people who are joined fourth are contestant number nine, genuinely, contestant number 10, get me, and contestant number 13, um, get me. So you three guys, you three students have placed joined fourth in the overall scoring. So well done for that. And again, um, all of the presentations that were given are fantastic. And I've, I've written little prompts for myself to, to go through them. But if I, if, if I was to talk individually about every presentation, I think we'd be here till tomorrow night. Okay, because they really, really were fantastic. And it really is a, a, a very, very, um, a very, very big well done to everybody for that. Okay, so coming in third place um, with a score of 83 was contestant number 11, uh, Sadakitami. Is that correct? How I pronounce it? 
Okay. And your presentation on traffic lights, I, I actually found very, very interesting and very, very informative. And you delivered it in a very, in a very confident tone. So well done to you on that. In second place on 84 points was student number 14, and that was Tushmini. And you did a very, very technical presentation on the microscope. It was well delivered and it was very, it was incredibly, it was very, very technical. And, and again, I found it completely interesting, very, very well done. It was something I absolutely didn't know at all. And the winner of the competition, um, and I'll just here before I go, um, okay, is contestant number four. So that's Vivagia. And I scored your score uh, with a presentation of 84.5. Now, what really set you apart from everybody. everybody's presentations were very good and everybody's descriptors were very good but ultimately this is an English competition and ultimately it's your ability to be able to deliver what you're trying to say to pronounce it to pronounce it to be able to deliver it with the right tone and the right pitch and you know what I thought was your pronunciation your projection and your articulation was the standout performance of the evening. So um, I've marked you as first place on 84.5. So what I would say, guys, is very, very well done to everybody. Um, again, what I'd say, I'm really looking forward to it, and I hope that I'm invited back to do the next one of these competitions because it was a completely and utterly entertaining um, experience for me to be able to listen to such fantastic children being able to deliver uh, their chosen subject in 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 a in a very very clear way, and um, what I will say as well is it can be difficult for the early students to go first, and the the later ones get to see the benefit of everybody else's performance. So another special mention to um, Inuka who set a good, very good standard, starting the whole ball rolling in the, in, for the evening. So guys, very, very well done. And thank you very much for, for uh, presenting to me this evening. Mr. Eamon, can you please repeat the winners, the names of the winners with the marks, please? Okay, so in first place, it was presentation student number four, with, uh, Vivaga Munasinga Archirai, and he got 84.5. You heard me? Vihanga. Yes, DJ? Right. Uh, his, uh, he is Vihanga, Mr. Eamon. Vihanga. Vihanga. Okay. So Vihanga is the winner. Okay. In second place was. Um, student number 14, Tushumini, and she got 84 marks. In third place was student number 11, and that's Sada Kitabini, and she got 83 marks. And then there were a, a three-way tie for uh, fourth place, between student number nine, student number 10, and student number 13. So that's genuinely, it's me, and it's me. And they all scored 82.5. So Priyanti, what I'm going to do with the overall score sheet, I'm going to scan this now, and I'm going to send it to you um, with, with the total scores. Thank you so much, Mr. Eamon, for presenting today as the Chief Judge. I repeat the winners again. First place goes to Vihangal. 
Can you all give a big round of applause to Vihanga? Vihanga, can you please uh, on your camera so that we can uh, put you on spotlight? Vihanga, where are you? Vihanga, I can't find you. Vihanga, can you please uh, on your camera? Right. He is the winner of today's competition, scoring 84.5 marks. Please give him a big round of applause. Okay. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Congratulations, Vihanga. And contestant number, uh, sorry, the second place goes to Tushumini. She scored 84 points. Tushumini. Congratulations, Tushumini. Thank you, teacher. All right, you should uh, thank our Mr. Eman thank also. You. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, the third place goes to Sandakit Mini. Sandakit Mini? Yes, teacher. Right, okay. Thank Congratulations, you, Sandakit, Sandakit Mini. Okay, you should thank. Thank you, teacher. All right, you should thank the chief judge, Mr. Thank Emanuel. You, sir. Right, okay. You. Then you scored 83 marks, and uh, there, are, uh, there are three fourth places. As Mr. Eamon mentioned, uh, Jinuli, Jinuli, can you please, uh, right, I'll, I'll add you on spotlight. Jinuli. Thank you, teacher. Right, Jinuli, Kitmi. Uh, Kitmi, can you please uh, turn on your my, uh, camera? Right, okay. Uh, right, okay. Jinuli, Kitmi, and contestant number 13. Uh, contestant number 13, uh, Nathan, can you please give uh, his or her name? No, that was Kitmi. Ah, that is Kitmi. Contestant number 10. Nathan, number, 11, number 11, Priyanti. Number 11. Ah. Right. Can you please repeat the numbers for the third, fourth places? Sorry. The fourth places are two seconds. Sorry. Number 9 and number 10. Number nine, number 10, and number 13. All right, number nine, uh, Jitmi. Number 13, uh, Jinuli. And uh, sorry, Jinuli is number nine. And uh, number 11 is uh, Jitmi. Number 10 is Jitmi, I think. And number 13, Kitmi. Uh, Kitmi, where are you, Kitmi? Yeah, right. Okay, Jitmi, what was your number? Uh, Nathan, can you please give Jitmi's number? What was her number? Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Okay. Uh, right. Jitmi, Jinuli, and Kitmi. We have three fourth places. They scored 82.3. Right? Okay. Congratulations yeah. to all the winners. Over to you, Nathan. Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you very much, Mr. Eamon, for accepting our invitation to judge the competition amidst a very busy work schedule. And we all hope to see your glamorous appearance in our future competitions too. We hope you all the very best for your future endeavors. May you have a granted health, wealth, and happiness forever. And wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you very much, Nathan. Dear students, please give a big round of applause for Mr. Eamon and say thank you. Thank you, Mr. Eamon. Thank you. Once again, congratulations for the winners. The certificates for the winners and also for the participants will be awarded in course due, in due course. Nelson Mandela once said, there are no losers. Either we win or we learn. I hope all our contestants got a wonderful experience today. Now I will hand over the screen to Mrs. Priyanti Pereira.
So I really enjoyed today's event. Thank you very much for all my students for entertaining me today. I'm so happy today to see your talents as a guest. And I should thank Mr. Eamon Dolan for dedicating his time to appear as the chief judge to judge today's event. Thank you so much, sir. And we hope to see your appearance for our future contest too. And thank also I should, thank, I should thank all the contestants and their parents who supported them to make this event a success. And also finally, I should thank Master Nathan Jai Vikram for, conduct, uh, for uh, contributing himself as the contest chair and conducting this contest smoothly. Thank you so much. And uh, with that, we have come to the end of this uh, wonderful event. Good night and stay blessed. Good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you, everyone. Sir. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, sir. Good night.